I'm out here at my old school, you know, Calhoun County Middle and High School. I attended both of those. I graduated in 05, and today I am very honored to be out here to speak to the kids about rap, actually give them a little rhythm and poetry, school them on hip hop and how this goes. So, you know, for Black History Month, I'm ready, man. I'm really ready, and I hope they're ready for the situation. And shout out to my teacher, man, Ms. Goodson for calling me about the situation. I'm very, you know, appreciative to this, so. Y'all ready? Hey, none other than my own Flip the Mess! Calhoun County Middle and High School. I graduated from the high school, and it is a, pl a pleasure and an honor to be here amongst you all today. I see kings and queens out here. That's what I see. That's what I see. I'm sorry. I don't have my glasses on right now, so that's what I see. And um, I want to elaborate on rap, which is really like an expression that came from people of African descent. The word rap is R-A-P, which is the acronym for rhythm and poetry. So today, I was gonna come out here with a beat, you know, and come out here and do a little stuff for y'all, but I decided to slow the rhythm down so y'all can actually pay attention to the poetry and rap. Because we have to do that on a regular basis, because a lot of people listen to stuff with nice rhythms and stuff like that, but the poetry, is not good for you. So you don't want to take that in. All right, so let me start my Black History, Rhythm and Poetry segment off by saying, know thyself and take your history serious. And did y'all know before slavery we were kings and queens, our great ancestors built the pyramid? Black history is world history, no matter what color your pigment is, because we all benefit from people of African descent, whether by inventions or even just the privileges we have in this new world we're living in. For instance, I'm sure everybody in here gets on the internet every day and go browsing. Well, the internet would not even exist if it wasn't for a black man from Nigeria named Philip Emiguali. Y'all see how I'm rhyming with that? So you, that, 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 that's rhythm and poetry, that's rap. You don't have to get on the beat, you can say something. You see what I'm saying? Now the buses bring the kids to school and the teachers drive their cars. A black man named Frederick M. Jones created the motor. Without the motor, the buses or the cars wouldn't even start. Did y'all know a black man named Henry A. Sampson made a cell phone? I know everybody got one of those. And did you know black people created the remote control, the clothes dryer, the dryer of clothes, the refrigerator, the stove, even the traffic lights in the road? <laughs> makes my imaginary explode. To see what we've done and what's to come, I mean, who knows what the future beholds? Our history shows that we are great people. Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, Angela Davis were all great leaders who all went to some school of some sort and were taught by great teachers. Wait, wait, wait. 
So y'all, y'all, y'all don't give them a bad time because we need them. We do. And this is for everybody in here, man, woman, boy, or girl. No matter who you are or where you're from, God gave us all free will. Are you willing to change the world? And if so, then it starts with education and dedication. Two of the most important tools you will need to use to build a better nation. And I think we should constantly send a big thank you and I love you to our ancestors with no hesitation. Because everything they did way back then was for us throughout the medieval times of segregation. So I say to you, young kings and queens, learn your history. Don't worry about being cooler. Because if you don't know your past, someone else will create your future. I am Superman Slim. This has been my rhythm and poetry, Black History segment. I appreciate the opportunity to come back out here. I graduated in 05. You know, all my teachers, all the administrators and everybody, you know, I see some classmates out here. But y'all are the future, man, so make sure y'all 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 pretty much do what you gotta do. Cause like I say, if you don't know your past, someone else will create that future for you. I love y'all. Let me talk. Look here, man. I got my style phone. I got my microphone. I got my strong pack. I got my click, man. I got bad goals over here, man. Oh my god. So look me, man. And we just got through. I had a ball, man. Shout out to Calhoun County High School and Middle School, all the teachers, the principals, administrators, everybody out there, the students, everybody, man. Like, I just did my Black History Rhythm and Poetry segment, schooling them on rap, rhythm and poetry, showing them, you know, a little bit more about the culture. So, we had a good time, man. I got Street Dreams TV down here, capturing everything. Make sure you let them capture your event, whatever event you have. But hey, this your boy Swisher Man Slim, aka Jose King, little brother, aka the Pharaoh Swish. And I'm checking out everything, man. Just like that. Street Dreams. Yeah. This is self motivation right here, man. Like, every day, man, you need to strive to live life above all negativity and all stress. You know what I'm talking about? For real. Now, every day I wake up on a cloud in the sky.